So the last thing we have to do for this exercise is create our reverse order function. Similar to our add slot to array function, we're gonna have to create a new array uh, and fill it in with the regular list of names items, but in reverse order. So the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, is create a new array. Um, in this function, we created uh, an array in here, um, which is fine. We can create the new one inside here as well. Uh, the only issue is that our scope is limited because if we instantiate an array or any variable in here, it can only be used in this function. Um, I'm gonna create it outside the reverse array function just in case uh, we want to use it again for anything. So going up right below our array of names and just create a new string array, uh, we'll call it reversed. Uh, and then we don't know how big it is because it depends on the array of names. So we've instantiated it. Now we can initialize it down here. So reversed, first names, new string array. And then we want to make sure it's the same length as the other array, so we're just going to use our array of names. Dot. Now what we have to do is go through it in a for loop and actually set each index to the reverse of what the array of names is. So we're going to create a for loop uh, index, and then we're going to go ahead and just we can use either length because they're the same, but I'll use array of names. Dot length. And then in here, we're going to set our reverse names at index equal to array of names. And now we want to grab it in reverse order. So the way I'm going to show you to do it is to actually start at the end of the array of names. Uh, and then grab the end number and throw it into our reverse names. So we can do that by putting our array of names dot length. And then if we remember how in array and indexes work, we have to subtract one because uh, it's the length is different than the actual index. So what this will do is this will grab the last index in array of names and throw it into reverse names. However, we want it to change every time we loop through this for loop. So one way to do that is to actually just add our index, Oops. our index here. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna go through and say we have a length of five, okay? It's gonna go through and grab the last one and then the next time through index is equal to one, it's going to grab the length five minus one, which is four. Oh, wait. Here we have our <clears throat> so here we have our reverse names grabbing the last index of the array of names but we want it to decrease every single time instead of doing the last one then we want to do the second to last and then third to last and so on until we're actually at the first index so one way to do that is to add our index in and actually just subtract by our index uh, so logically, again, the first time through, index equals zero. So it's gonna be the length, which we can say is five minus one minus zero, which is uh, just four. But the next time through, it's gonna add one to the index. So it's gonna be array of names dot length minus two, giving us the index of three and then two and then one and then zero, so that we cycle through uh, each individual one and add it in reverse to our reverse names. Uh, now we have to set it, so we're gonna go ahead and array of names equals reverse names, and then display our array, so we're gonna call it display array. And let's see this in action.
So let's go ahead and put, uh, let's actually three. Let's go ahead and put Jim, Dan, and Susan. It's the order. Let's go Susan, Stan, Jim.